notes here. Um, recently, I uh, upgraded my uh, copy of Live to Live 9 Suite, and I included in that is uh, the new Max for Live audio effects and instruments and MIDI effects and all that. And uh, I've been playing around with this LFO, which is really good at pretty much controlling everything or a large number of things within Live. And I wanted to see if uh, you could use it with with Looper here. <clears throat> and in fact, you can. And let's try and figure out together how that can work. So let's say I want to have a uh, two-bar loop. Well, say that I want to have a two bar loop but I don't want to have to control myself uh, how often it records or overdubs. I want to just sort of set it and then be able to walk away from it but still be overdubbing things maybe to create some interesting layers or or mash some sounds together. So here we can see that I've got it set already to record two bars. I've set my quantization to none. Here I'm going to set my song control to start song and my tempo control to set and follow song tempo. And that's going to be important in a minute. Now over here is the new LFO uh, device. In order to make this useful uh, we're going to have to change a few things. The first one that we're going to have to do is, is because we're going to want to sync the tempo, we're going to want to sync tempo, so we're going to come over here to where we see frequency, and instead of using frequency, we're going to do sync. Now you can see that when I do that, the LFO shuts itself off, and that's because our transport isn't going. So if I turn on the transport, you can see now that the LFO is turned back on. And when I turn off the transport, when I stop, the LFO turns itself off. Now, this rate is much too fast for us. That's not going to make any sense uh, in any kind of context. So we're going to change that. I've got my looper set up for two bars. I'm going to set my LFO rate to four. That will complete one entire cycle of the LFO every four bars. That means two bars on, two bars off. And in order to make everything nice and nice and tidy, so to speak, I'm going to set the wave, instead of a sine wave, I'm going to set it to be a rectangular wave. So I'll briefly turn this down so we can see it. When I turn on the LFO now, we can see that it's sending out a nice rectangular wave which is going to be really helpful for controlling our functions over in the looper. We'll stop the transport again. Alright, we'll turn this back up to four bars. Oop, four. There we go, four. Now, in order to make sure that our, our overdub and play functions work correctly in looper, we need to do two things. The first is set the offset to 1. The second is set the depth down to about 25 percent. That'll be fine. You'll see that when we uh, when we do this the LFO signal is way up here. Uh, if it's not set this way it'll bounce back and forth between record and overdub. Uh, you can experiment with different settings for that, but it'll bounce back and forth between record and overdub, uh, which I don't... Uh, that just records things over and over again. That's not going to be so helpful. I'm more interested in taking sort of snapshots, so record and play. This, These settings will set you up for record and play. Now, coming down to the lower portion of LFO, I click on map, and it flashes. And Now I'm going to click on my uh, looper state buttons and here we've now done state. Alright, so now I'm gonna record in two bars of um, sound, me talking, and then we'll see what happens. Here we go. One, two, three, four, two, two, 
three, four. One, now you can two, see the first thing it three, does is go four, into overdub mode, two, and then it'll two, go into play mode automatically. Four. One, and now we're in two, play mode. Three, I can say all kinds four, of stuff, two, and nothing happens, nothing happens, three, nothing happens. Four. Okay, so I'm not entirely sure how this is useful yet. I'm sure somebody uh, will figure out a use, but it could be, like I said, really interesting for layering a bunch of sounds together. Uh, if you're interested, um, in order to set it up this way, we can we can set it up uh, up to three bars. So the, the rate over here goes up to six, I believe, so something. Oh, 16. So I guess you could set this up uh, for eight, a maximum of eight bars, uh, and then you know away you go. So I hope you enjoyed this quick little tutorial on using the LFO to control looper. Thanks very much. Bye.